Marissa Voss alongside Frankie Fiddler as Omaha beats St. Thomas 69 to 65. Let's talk about that first time ever you have beat St. Thomas in history. How did it feel to do it here at Baxter and in front of a home crowd? Yeah, it felt great. Um, you know, we knew coming into the game that this was a big game for us. You know, not, not just for the standings, but, you know, to get one back against St. Thomas just because we haven't beat them. So uh, to win is a big deal for us. Let's talk about your performance. 24 points on the night, two assists, eight rebounds, and 10 for 13 from the free throw line. That's where you make your magic, though, is right there. In that moment when you know you have to knock down shots, how do you kind of get in the zone, and what is the thought process like? Yeah, you know, I just kind of clear my mind, uh, go back to the time I'm in the gym by myself, no one's watching, and, you know, I just trust everything that I do in there, and, you know, I'm able to showcase it out here where, where everyone is watching. How does it feel to know that you are the top free throw, free throw thrower, I guess, um, shooter? That was a weird kind of turn, shooter in the Summit League. And also you're nationally ranked right now, top 32. How does it feel to kind of know you're doing something right there on the line? Yeah, I mean, it feels great. Uh, free throws are free, so you're supposed to make them. And that's kind of my thought process for it. So uh, just, you know, to be able to get there so much and, and cash in every time I do it, is a big deal. St. Thomas is known for only holding their opponents to 32 percentage in the field goal. You guys had 57 percent shooting in the first half from FGs. Talk about how you guys started off with a bang and never took your foot off the gas pedal. Yeah, actually, um, they're number one in defense in the Summit League, so uh, we kind of wanted to prove, and we're number two, so we wanted to prove uh, otherwise. And I think you know, we were. We got in the paint tonight, uh, we pounded it in, the, in there, had 40 points in there, and you know that, that was the recipe for success tonight. You said in the press conference that when Denver happened and you won, you wanted to come out here tonight and show everybody that that wasn't a fluke and that you are this team. What was that message like? And do you think they heard it oh, across the Summit League? Oh yeah, uh, you know our coaches told us before the game that th there was rumblings telling us that you know, that was a one-game wonder, and they were tired. But to be able to come out and do this and, and prove that, you know, Omaha's on the, on the rise and we're here to stay this year, and uh, it, it's a big deal to us and a big deal to the community as well. Last question. A lot of this couldn't happen without J.J. White, but especially J. Sean Glover on the free throw line. I saw you kind of cheering him on a little bit and amping him up. What was that conversation like before he shot two very crucial free throws at the end? Yeah, you know, he's got a lot of confidence in himself, so I didn't have to give him any of that. I just, you know, told him, you know, this is your moment. Go take it. And, you know, he did. And I'm proud of him because he puts in a lot of work. And, you know, to finally see a payoff for him is, is a great thing. Thank you so much, Frankie, and congratulations. Thank you.